the question tested to class part 3 inheritance. Now we would create a tester class which would test the choice question class and when you run your program for choice question tester you will see your output would look like this. You will create a two quiz choice questions. Question number one is the hardware of a computer consists of all of the following except and then we have five choices processor, memory, input and output devices, storage and operating system. Then we ask the user to give the answer. We take the response from the user and check and display if your answer is correct or not. We have a question itself, base 10 refers to which number system. Then we have four choices and then we ask the user for the answer and looking at the response we tell whether it's false or true, true or false. Now let's take a look at the tester class. What should go in a tester class? So we are going to create a tester class which will test the choice question class with a quiz with two choice questions. So you're going to call it as a question tester 2. We'll have a main method and in a main method the first thing you want to do is create your first choice question object. Then you would set the question. You would add choices. At least give four choices. Again, we'll create the second choice question object, set the question, add choices. Again, I'd give at least four choices. And then we're going to present the question. Then we're going to present the question two. So in order for us to present question one, present question two, we're going to create a separate method for that and then call it two times for each question. Now let's take a look at a present question method. What goes into our present question method? Now in here when we talk about present question, this method will present a question to the user and then check for the response. So this is our method header, public static void, present question, and then whatever your question is, that's of type choice question. Now first thing you want to do in this method is display the question. That means you want to call the display method. The second thing you want to do is ask for the user response and then store it in a variable. But don't forget to print a label that says your answer. And the last thing you want to do is check for the response and then print to show if your answer is correct, that is true or false. Once you're done creating this method, and then you would present your question 1 by calling the method, and you would present the question 2 by calling the method. So pause the video now and go ahead and complete your question tested too to test and see if the methods of choice question works correctly or not.